Yes, guys, so welcome. And you finally know where it is, don't you now? Um, I've done a fair bit with the place since you saw it last time. Fair, d done a fair bit of work on it. Got a lot of farms down there. Uh, we'll get to that soon. First of all, yeah, did you did you end up guessing where it was? Um, if we go here... Um, hmm, I thought you'd be able to hear a bit. I remember in a video last time you were able to hear my nether portal. And I actually had to cut it, so you didn't hear my nether portal there. Oh, you can hear it there. Yep. It's... I don't think it's quite centred directly, but it's quite... It's, it's probably more over here. It's roughly centred on my nether portal, so if you dig straight down at my nether portal, you fall into this. Uh, I'm not sure if I showed that or not, but um, there's my wheat farm. My wheat farm is centred directly over that block. Uh, that was a... I meant that one. That was because... Um, the wheat farm circle and this circle are the same size. Uh, I think that was a coincidence. I don't think I meant that. but um, uh, So you saw every single entrance I've ever used to get into this base. Uh, the one I most used is this one. I do one, two, three. That's why I changed this whole floor to cobble in the first place. One, two, three. And they, uh, there's a walkway behind those furnaces there. But um, We'll get to the base in a sec, but I wanted to show you something first, actually. I can get in the proper way now. And yeah, I finished this. I'm, yeah, I don't think I finished it last time. And I just put a painting there because why? It's a cool painting. These guys are loud. But um, I got le left some presents. I should explain. In fact, be before before that, I'll close that off again. Close. Close off black. Not there. Um, two people have found my mace. Lorraine. He's probably watching this, and Litzipo, he's also probably watching this. I, I'm, I'm guessing, you know, they eventually get around to watching watching the videos, either on the uh, either on the post on the subreddit. But um, Lorraine found it ages ago, as I found out, and I'm almost not surprised that he kept it secret that he knew about my secret, just how he operates. But um, he saw it, like, in a chunk error, and then he's gone in my base a couple of times. So, you know, I'm not too fussed about that. Uh, Zippo found it after I posted the last video, the last episode that you saw, and he's actually left me some presents. He, he's mocked my secret base because, as I would have showed you, and I filmed this after this, by the way, uh, I dug in this because he left me a little present here. He said, nothing to see here. Uh, it was almost, in I pretty much intentionally made, I could have made this smooth stone, but I made it cobblestone, you know, just to, I, I wanted people to, you know, give me a hint. But now uh, I dig through this. Why are there workbenches? <laughs> I don't know it's Zippo, because I have something else to show you after this. Yeah, etc, etc, I'll clean that up in a sec, but I don't have an axe, I don't think. Just looking quickly. What do I have on the wood? On the, ah, my looting sword. Okay, looting sword, I need to upgrade it a little. Shut up, cows, you're so loud. By the way, I hope you like my uh, the levels I've got going on now. I've had to me mess with the levels again because um, it, it and I uh, had portal out yesterday. You forgot a workbench. Zit lifo. Zip lifo. <laughs> All right. This is just stupid. Why? Why? Why would you do this? Um, I'll clean that up in a sec. Um, close it off just so nothing gets in. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed my portal episode because I just want to get out a portal episode. And then this one, um, the reason I haven't posted any videos since like last Wednesday or whenever it was is because last Friday it was actually my birthday. Hooray! Hooray! Um, and my brother actually went out and, well, I don't think he went out and got it. He kind of scabbed off my parents, I think. But um, went out and got me a pop filter, so I hope the uh, I got the pop filter right over my mic now, and uh, it's not a great one, but it does the job. So I hope the quality is a little better. It's not going to improve it heaps and heaps, but I hope it's you know a little better. Uh, so the 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 um, what do you call them? The, the pops don't come through as much, like when I say P or B or something. Yeah, but um, I'm gonna walk down here because um. You won't know this, but Lorraine was recently, and I'm not going to call it a prank, but 
It was sort of a mini prank, I would say, by Zippo. He went up to the top of Lorraine's Iron Golem Towers, which you've seen, and built a, a house for some reason and put some stuff in it. I was working down here for about two hours, and I look, finally look down here, and I see this thing sitting there. There's an Enderman! Don't steal the dirt, man! Oh, that's... Okay, that's right. You saw that dirt. That's just dirt I left. In fact, because I had um, a spillage of water from the top that came down here, blocked it off, and I saw this. <laughs> um, Crusoe, Crusoe and Friday's hidey hole. And I hope he's left a little story in here, because he usually leaves the little, little stories. Yeah, The diary, yes. This is something similar he left at Lorraine's house as well. We're going to read the diary. Dear diary, days and nights are irrelevant in this pit. I count 12 days since I found this place. I must survive and tell the world of this secret nightmare. L. Dear diary, on the 24th day I finished my house. It is humble, but secure from the dark. Void like mists outside. I hear voices, sounds of men from TNT working around me. Am I going mad? Dear diary, I see now the levels, the stretch into what seems like infinity. I'm reminded of an old story, a vision of hell that is nine, nine levels, each worse. On the bottom line, it's the devil. Sometimes, I think maybe I am in that fiction. Uh, sorry, I am in that fiction, living in that author's mind. Author's mind? The thought that plagues my sleep, though, is, I, this is, this is final level, am I Satan, imprisoned at the base? Or is this only the first level? Man, this is a long book. <laughs> wacky, wacky waving, arm flailing, inflatable iron columns. <laughs> I'm Al Blockington of Al Blockington's wacky waving, arm flailing, inflatable iron golems, and due to a shift clicking error, we are overstocked. <laughs> oh, that's um, that's from Family Guy. That's a really good one. <laughs> uh, dear diary, my crops have died. My house is shaking at its foundations. It feels like a personification of my own will. My heart is gone. I re so re so as crushed as the seeds that lie dried under my feet. I see him now. Oh, did I? I see him now. A man with an expression of almost nothing. He wields redstone and TNT as if it were nothing. Is he God? Is he Etho? I do not know what to worry anymore, never knowing or finding out. Dear diary, I will make my escape today. I have brick and wood to hasten my escape, pearls of long dead endermen if the need calls for them. I will do what the devil did not. I will escape this hell and I will rule it. Dear diary, dot dot dot. Copyright me. Reading this book costs two diamonds per page. Should have probably mentioned that earlier. Avoid all permits to lit illegal industries in Lit, lit Island. Screw that. You kidding? I'm not paying that. I'm cheapo. Probably pay that. Jungle wood. So yeah, um hope you enjoyed that little story. You left a little story at loose as well, so yes, I like that. Oh. Whoa. No? Why is the jungle wood here? Is there any any reason? No? Okay. Okay. Um, where is there nothing else to it? Is that it? I think that's it. But, um, yeah, this is great. I love this. <laughs> oh, this is... Z Zippo's a crazy guy. I love him. I love him. He, um, he's a very, very creative guy. I will say that. He's very creative with the things he does. See, I, I would never come up with a prank like this. Well, not even a... I wouldn't call it a prank. I'd call it... Maybe just a mini one, because it's not a full one. He says he's still got stuff coming, if I'm correct. But um, this is very nice. I like this. I like this. is very inventive. It's better than, you know, spamming circles all over a people's face and putting workbenches and furnaces everywhere. Uh, it's been the extent of my pranks, putting random blocks everywhere. So, um, Another workbench? Really? Ah! Uh, uh, I get the workbenches now. I think I should have you know, cottoned onto that, you know, the workbenches, I put workbenches there, okay, okay, like, you know, it's, it's take, it took me a while, but I got it, I got it, um, well, while we're down here, by the way, this is, I think this one's my mine, yeah, this is my mine, I've been mining out back there, I think it's that one, I have another one that I, I 
just I think I might forget one. Yeah. Um so yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you enjoyed this prank. <laughs> it was good. Um I guess we'll uh, I'm gonna have to show you some other stuff in here now, so uh, I will jump up there quickly. Alright, we're up on green level now and I will show off a bit of the base to you. I've done completed two rooms on this level. Uh, first we got the reed farm, pretty basic reed farm. Um, not sure if I should get in and show you, but uh, this piston is just a simple, um, just a, a bud that'll pulse. So whenever this last reed goes to the top, uh, pulses, all the reeds get pushed off onto here. Uh, it's a little inefficient because some reeds get stuck on this bit, but in in an automatic reed farm, there's, it's kind of hard to avoid that unless you have literally one single reed and then empty space around it. So, yeah, um, I, you know, it's a little inefficient, but I won't need that many reeds anyway. See, pff, i got heaps of them. So I wasn't too worried about the inefficiencies there. So this is just a nice little setup. Not much, too much to explain there. Um... I guess I'll quickly show you the wiring. It's not too complicated. Not too complicated, but uh, I'll get in there. Uh, got the pistons behind here. It goes over here. I've compacted it pretty well, actually. Uh, there's a torch there. It goes up to here and resets the bud. And it just comes from this block. Oh, I might get crushed there. It comes from this block and just goes around and powers all the pistons. And exactly the same setup on this side. So, not too complicated. Uh, I should probably put a door here, actually. Um, yep, yeah, that. Beautiful. Yep, yeah, so I thought that was a nice setup. That was the first one I built. Uh, the second one I built, I've actually jazzed up a little more. Look at this. Now, this is design in, designing in style. D they're two redundant words there. This is good design. Just a, just a little cactus farm, uh, possibly expand upwards, uh, but I've got plenty of cactus, so I don't think it'll be necessary, unless I really want a lot of cactus, which, I know, it's good for pranks, I guess, but just a little automatic cactus farm for when I need some cactus, cactus green, though mind you, I have got plenty of sheep now, so probably wouldn't need it anyway, but um, we're going to work our way up now, because why not? And I like my staircase. I'm trying stuff with the water flows around the outside. I'm unsure. I think I'll need to stone brick it up a little more. Put some other stuff in it other than stone brick. So hmm. This will go up to the surface to my nether portal, by the way. I have not connected it up yet because I wanted to you know, keep it a little secret. Oh, I wouldn't have showed this one. Yeah, it just comes out to here. So there you go. And I'll connect that up eventually. So we'll go down here and we'll go over here, which is the only other room, apart from that room, which is just a collection area for wheat. Uh, go to the enchanting room. And actually, I have enough reeds now to complete the, book, the bookshelves. And because it's a little laggy, you can't really see it, but they go in a cycle around the outside. Um... I plan to expand this room actually. Uh, I'm going to put water in the back here because I, I just like water and enchanting rooms and stuff. I, I don't know. But um, I plan to expand it to have a couple of different levers here. And I'm going to have it so you can have level 30, obviously. Uh, you can do level 26s, which is the feather falling level. Um, and that you can maybe just. Although level 1s require no bookshelves, do they? So I might just do the two, the one with level 26, which is just. I'm pretty sure it's just these two. Um, not included because you can go like this and that's 26 right there so I may add functional into that later but not for now uh, and that's pretty much all I've done at my base so not sure what we're going to get done this episode but um, I've got to I'll probably go work on it on opening up some of these entrances maybe um, after I release the episode though because right now as of right now that I'm recording it obviously the episode isn't released yet so uh, mind you two people have found anyway so um yeah I guess I'll uh, report back to you guys when I've got something done or to do alrighty guys welcome back we are now currently running up the what is this tunnel the, the east tunnel I guess yeah east tunnel uh, Lorraine's will be coming up in a second and wait okay okay I'm ready and the, uh, my headset microphone in front of my face, I sometimes use it for Skype, but for recording, definitely the, uh, the Blue Yeti, the beast. 
Um, we're actually heading over to Lit Zippos. I just caught his video, and I, by just caught, I mean literally, I just watched it probably 10 minutes ago. Um, YouTube's having trouble with playback at the moment, actually, which is a bit of an issue. Lorraine changed his sign back. It was changed in Zippo's video. I did not change Lorraine's sign. To, I think it was Lou Rain's. I, did, I didn't change it to that. I've changed his sign before, I, I must admit. I have changed his sign before, but I didn't change it to that. Guaranteed. As much as he wants to say it's me, that, that one wasn't me. Guaranteed. Um, by the way, for those of you who haven't seen, Utters McCall, East Nether Administrator, please make an appointment. I want to go in there, but I'll leave him. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? <sighs> I've, I've forgotten. So, uh, I'll just introduce this first. We've got... Blah, blah, blah. We've got Lit Zippos. Is it Lipos? Zit Zit Lipo. Um, we, we've got his Nether... Nether truck. Don't, don't. Okay, I didn't want to lose that mic up, but... It is a beast of a Nether truck, and... It, it's, it's just awesome. Look at this. This is... He's got an abandoned mine shaft down there, but I'll let you go watch his videos, and I highly recommend you go watch his videos. I uh, actually know a couple of you are watching his videos already from me, which I feel quite proud about. I'm promoting a channel smaller than myself. You know, oh, but smaller is, is, is pretty subjective. I mean, you know. <laughs> um, so, we have come to this, and we open this. It is the gold challenge. The Lit Zippo Gold Always Believe in Your Soul Challenge. That's that's a good song. I like that. I get the reference, by the way. Hey, true believers, to celebrate the opening of my nether tunnel, I've hidden 20 chests each with a gold nugget inside. Your challenge, should you accept it, is find all 20 chests. Don't take the gold, so we need to take a screenshot of each chest or find them on camera, which is what I'm going to do, and post your findings on the subreddit, which is also what I'm going to do. Um... So we can get a leather kilt. Pri prizes enough. We've got a nice prize package here. You, you know, like the price is right. And t ten chests. A, a hot rod. I can imagine what that is. Yeah, Fifteen chests. An illustrated picture. I want one. I want an illustrated picture. And the grand prize, which is secret and I, I very much want. So we're going to look for the chests. And he showed us on that video. And I, if I remember, I'll provide a link. We've got one chest. Boom. One. Alright, so I'm going to be periodically recording. I see another one there. Go. Two. Gonna be periodically recording and coming back to you guys when I, f when I find chests. So, hope you enjoy this little montage. And I'm just doing a quick spoiler shield here, guys, just in case any of you um, Minecraft Reddit guys want to uh, go and try this challenge and don't want to be spoiled by these. I'll uh, try to remember, but you might just have to skip over. I'll try to remember to put an annotation on the screen so you can skip to after the challenge, hopefully, if I remember, hopefully. No, no guarantees. <laughs> Three. And four. Aha. Okay, I'm gonna need, probably gonna need to put a block there. Five. Yeah, we got the kilt. Got the kilt in the bag. Um, six. <laughs> that was hard. Ooh, gotta show you this. Does that work for any of them? Okay, just have a. You should put a sticky piston there. That'll be um, seven. Yeah. And we pick up the eighth really easily as well. Nine. And we found our tenth. And now you can see the abandoned mine shaft. These are actually not too hard to find. However, I can see them getting a bit harder towards the end actually. So we're at the halfway point. We're at the halfway point. Actually, uh, I found one just after. Does this count? 11? Has a gold nugget. I'm counting as 11. 12. 
I bet you there is one down here. I bet you chess minecart is one. No sense way. Ha! I don't even know we're up to. 13? This will be the 14. Break me. I don't want to break you. I want to break it. Okay. There you go. Uh, what? Let's that make it 14. I actually want to. I want to put it back though. I'll put it back. I'll be a nice guy. And gets the 15 without even breaking a sweat. Now to find the last five. 16. Yeah, it's a sneaky one, but I got it. Found one. Found one. Found one. Found one. Don't want to break any scenery, but I want to pillar up to it. The fix your chests, man. Come on, I have to break it again. No gold nugget, none. Really? Really? Okay, I should just assume that was one. Well, I guess it doesn't count then. I guess it doesn't count. All right, back at the entrance of this near the uh, the zombie pigman. I just realised we can go up here, and I don't look out this bit. I don't know, but I found one back here, which would make it our seventeenth. Yeah, Maggie's axe. <laughs> Whoa, hang on a minute here. Hang on. Eighteen. Smiley face, yay! And I think I found the 19th. Not sure how I missed this one the first time, but uh, here we go. And here we are, and I'm pretty sure this is our 20th. Yep, this will be it. I haven't been to this one. I can't even get in there. <laughs> so, uh, there we go. You have your 20 chests. I believe there's no repeats. Um, I'll have a look back through all my footage, I'll make sure I haven't got the same one twice, but I'm fairly certain I haven't got the same one twice. So, uh, there you go, Zippo. Um, you know, maybe harder challenge next time, but, um, no, that, that's me. The, um, 19th and 20th, just, I, I really trouble with the 19th and 20th ones. 18th a little bit, but I found that little area, that little secret area up the top. 19th and 20th, I had to go up and down a couple of times, so, um. Yeah, good challenge, but uh, I have conquered. <laughs> so uh, I hope you're giving out multiple prizes because I think other people deserve to have a go at this because I've done this very early. So, <laughs> so uh, there you go. Let's see what else we can do this episode. All right, guys, we're back at the base, and before I wrap up this episode, I wanted to, uh, you know, just talk about some stuff that is gone, going on in and around my channel and has gone on. Um. As I mentioned earlier in the uh, in the episode, it was my birthday. In fact, last Friday, twelfth uh, of April. Great date, put in your calendar. But um, yeah, I guess I had a fun birthday. It's kind of the reason I haven't got. Oh, what? Oh, red, red and fuzz. But um, yeah, it's kind of the reason I have I haven't got many videos out recently. Um, why stone? Why stone brick? Why do I do that? I'm not concentrating. I want those back though. Anyway, yes, it's the uh, pretty much having my birthday along with um, uni assignments. You, if you've been, to, if you're a uni person, you'll know that about midway through the semester, uni just love to throw literally every assignment for the entire semester right at you, all in one week. Just, you know. Makes for a nice stress-free uni experience for all, doesn't it? Um, but <laughs> I'm telling a little, a little bitter about it. But um, uh, y you know, uni's got to come first, guys. But um, does not mean I've forgotten about any of you. It just means that IRL, me, me not getting videos out just means that you know, real life is taken over for the time being, and uh. Alright, fuzz. Ah, uh, too late. 
But um, yeah, it just means real life take, has taken over for a sec, and I've never forgotten about you guys. And I've actually been, if you notice, I've been pretty good with videos lately. I've been getting them relatively regular. So um, this big break is just due to uh, you know, stuff in real life and. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's it's just due to me being busy. So no no worries about that, guys. Don't don't worry that uh. I don't post videos for a while unless if, if, you know, if I've got a really big thing going on, like I'm going away on a holiday, I'll definitely let you guys know. But if it's unexplained, it probably just means I'm busy. So don't fret, guys. Don't fret. I'm, I'm always here. I'll never go away. <laughs> um, what's next on my list? I have my little list here. I've got my, my lamp on. I've got my little list shining. Um, I went on the red. I was on the red. Well, I was on Reddit yesterday, of course. And, uh, Clicked on the Redstone subreddit, which I'm subscribed to. Not a bad subreddit over there. Not uh, not too bad. Not too bad. I don't mind it. But um, I had a look, and it was a post by uh, some obscure Redstoner, um, Seth Bling. If, if any of you guys have heard of him, but um, he did like a Redstone challenge video uh, a while. Well, Redstone challenge map. A while ago, and then I did an LP of it, if you guys can remember it. He's released a Redstone Challenge too. Um, it's based on the more 1.5 stuff, Hopper's Comparators. And I, yeah, I'm definitely going to do an LP of it, is what I'm trying to say. So, look forward to that, guys. Get hype. Um, going to do one of them. Hopefully, it won't be too long. Hopefully, I know I'm not good at the 1.5 stuff, but hopefully I don't suck that much ass that... <laughs> You know, it takes like 20 episodes to do it. Hopefully it'll only be a couple of episodes, uh, so it won't break my schedule too much. If they, here in, in this case, schedule is used as a very, very, very loose word schedule in this case. But, um, yeah. So, looking forward to that. Hope, hopefully you will too. I, I really like the first Redstone map, so I was really encouraged to play the second one. So, look forward to that, guys. In the uh, next week or so, I'll try and get it out. I'll try and play it as soon as I can and get it out. But, um, yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah, the last thing on my list, I I listened to your guys' comments about my Spawn Town house. Um, I've taken your things in cons into consideration. Um, I know one person, well, Dracona suggested I do a redstone house. I was, you know, I like the idea. I really like the idea of a redstone house. But I'm not really sure exactly how to kind of put it together because I'm not that great to build off. And chances are I'm going to do redstone crap in my house anyway. So it's it's a really good idea, but it would almost be a supplement to any house I build. It would have redstone crap literally everywhere in it. I like the coal blocks, they look nice. But um, by no means a bad idea. In fact, it was a fantastic idea and I really, really wanted to do it. Until I, my next idea, which was, and I'm not sure, someone suggested something. And I just got, it just came to me, an awesome idea. That's a silverfish block? Go away. <laughs> Stupid. There you go. So... What is it talking about? Yes. Someone suggested an, an, an idea. And it came to me that I could build a... Get this? Crystal Palace. It will be awesome. It'll be like ice and glass and water everywhere. Maybe redstone blocks. I don't know. It'll be cool. But um, that was my idea. But, again, I'm not sure if I'll do it. It might be a bit fancy compared to the other kind of... The kind of theme we... Sort of theme we've got going there. However, if I don't build it in Spawn Town, I will build it somewhere else. Possibly here. And I will build it because I want to build a Crystal Palace. It would be awesome. The Redstone Crystal Palace. Just just imagine it. It would be awesome. <laughs> but um, I think, yep, yeah, that's, that's all on my list. Um, I think I have one more thing to say. Uh, I've been watching, well, I haven't been watching, but I have seen uh, Team Canada lately do Ruins of the Minecrackers, that CTM map. Um, I actually downloaded that quite a while ago with the intention of doing it. Uh, Lo actually came to me and said, hey, we should do a, a 
an LP of a, a, we should, we should do like a CTM app or whatever. I said yeah, that'd be really cool. And I think I haven't talked to him about it, but I think that one would be a really good one for us to do. Possibly when I'm you know got maybe when my portal series is over and my Inferno Minds is wrapping up, maybe we can get started on that. Hopefully, I don't know. And I think and he maybe suggested we do it like someone like Lit Zippo as well, but um, you know it's all uh, under wraps, but. See what comes of that. But uh, I think that's all I have to say. So um, I've rambled on long enough. So uh, I will uh, bid you farewell, guys, and hope you enjoyed this episode. We got heaps done. Loved it. Good fun episode. Hope you enjoyed my intro as well. I thought that was really nice. But um, have a good one, guys. I'll catch you next video.